Hello everyone, my name is LVD and today I'll be showing you a deck deck for mono black aggro. Like most aggro decks you want to have a lot of one drops and preferably one drops with more than one power and this deck delivers with 12 one drops with two power so these are the men and partial men you want to see in your opening hand. If you don't have a one drop in your opener you have to really consider mulliganing unless the rest of your hand is absolutely perfect. So let's go over all of them real quick. Tormented Hero is the only one drop that can actually block. It does come into play tapped, but after that he can still block. The Heroic also does come up, so if you bestow a card onto him he triggers Heroic and you get to gain a life and deal one damage. You can also point your own removal on Tormented Hero if you need to deal that last point of damage. Bloodsoaked Champion is by far the most powerful one drop. Thanks to Raid he can keep coming back and keep attacking, which is all you want to do in this deck. And then finally Gnarled Scarhide is also very powerful just because you can also bestow him for 4 mana. So he has two uses, you can play him on turn 1 as a fine 2 one for one or you can bestow him later in the game to get some more damage in. And even if the bestowed creature dies, you still get the Scarhide back, meaning you still have some board presence which is very important in an aggro deck. Moving over to our two drops, we have Pain Seer, which allows us to draw a card whenever he untaps, and the benefit of drawing cards far outweighs the cost of paying some life. Then we also have Spiteful Returned, which if he is unblocked is pretty much a 3 power 2 drop, and he also has Bestow, so for 4 mana you can bestow him onto a creature, meaning you will most likely get to deal at least 4 damage no matter how many blockers the opponent has just because you deal 2 when the bestowed creature attacks even if the bestowed creature dies you get spiteful return back and another attack from spiteful return is another 2 damage guaranteed so that's at least 4 damage when you bestow him our 3 drops are all very powerful Mogus's Marauder gives your entire team haste and intimidate you can play him on turn 4 together with another 1 drop like Bloodsoaked Champion or Gnarled Scarhide and give them haste as well. And then we also have Herald of Torment which can also be bestowed and it's a big 3-3 flyer which does deal you 1 damage every turn but again we are the aggro deck so we should be fine. Then we round out the main deck with some disruption, 2 thought seizes for hand disruption and then 3 bile blights and 4 heroes downfall for creature removal, Hero's Downfall can also be applied to Planeswalkers. You won't find a cheaper mana base anywhere else, just 22 Swamps allows us to get up to our third land on turn 3 consistently, and we can even go up to 5 to get our Herald of Torment bestowed. As you probably may have noticed, there's one card missing, and that's because I'm not entirely sure what this last card should be. Currently I'm using Hall of Triumph as an Anthem effect, but there's a lot of other valid options like a Mardu Skull Hunter for some more hand disruption, Bray Maggot also for hand disruption. You could play a third Thoughtseize in the main deck if you have one. You could also go with Master of the Feast which is good against green decks. Or you could even have a Boon of Erebos to surprise your opponent when he blocks. You could simply run a fourth Pile Blight in the main. You could also go for a Sign in Blood for some card draw or as a finisher dealing 2 damage to the opponent, or you could have some more creature removal in Murderous Cut. In other words, there's a lot of options, but I went with Hall of Triumph in my version. If you take a look at the curve of our main deck, we have a lot of 1, 2 and 3 drops and nothing else, but if you consider Bestow, then the curve looks entirely different, because we have 8 4 mana Bestow cards and 4 5 mana bestow cards, so should it ever get to the late game we still have a lot of staying power. In our sideboard we have some interesting one-offs, we have Empty the Pits against decks with a lot of removal, so you can surprise them at the end of their turn by casting an Empty the Pits, make a bunch of zombies and maybe even attack for the win. Whip of Erebos gains us life and also has the ability to return some cards like Mogus's Marauder that will give the entire team haste and intimidate again and then Erebos can come in against decks that try to gain life, which we don't really like as the aggro deck. We also have some more removal spells in the sideboard, Dark Betrayal against black creatures, Farika's Cure against low toughness creatures, 
and Bile Blight, the fourth one, can come in against token decks or just other aggro decks. Then we're also trying out two Master of the Feast, which is very good against burn decks that can only deal 4 damage to creatures, or against the green decks that don't really have a ton of removal and where a 5-5 flyer will kill them very quickly. We are also packing some more hand disruption, two thought seizes and a brain maggot. If you're on a budget, the thought seize can be replaced by the spies and it won't really matter except against the control decks. If you're looking for what specific cards to bring in and bring out against certain matchups, I've got you covered, but keep in mind that this sideboard plan might be outdated by the time you watch this video, but let's get started. Against the Jeskai burn decks, I like to bring in the whip for life gain, empty the pits if they try to remove all your creatures, keep in mind that anger of the gods exiles your creatures, so then empty the pits won't be very effective. Then we also have Brain Maggot for some more hand disruption that doesn't cost us any life. Bile Blight against those annoying Mantis Riders or Goblin Rebel Masters. And then Master of the Feasts because most of their removal doesn't kill it. We take out our Hero's Downfalls and our Thought Seizes. Hero's Downfall is just a slow removal spell where Bile Blight gets the job done. And Thought Seize, although can be good against Anger of the Gods, does cost us life which plays into the burn decks game plan. If the opponent has a version where they're playing Brimas, then you want to keep in two heroes downfalls and take out two tormented hero instead. Against Obs on aggro, we want to bring in Arabos to prevent their life gain shenanigans. Bile Blight kills most of their creatures, and then Dark Betrayal can kill Anafenza, Siege Rhino, and Death Dealer. We want to bring out Mogus's Marauder because their black creatures will block our creatures even though they do have Intimidate. Against the more mid-range version of Abzan we still bring in Arabos, but then we also want to bring in some more Hand Disruption with Thought Seize and Brain Maggot, and we take out our Hall of Triumph since they will try to kill most of our creatures, and then we take out Bile Blight as well since it doesn't deal with most of their threats. Our plan against the Green Devotion or Ramp decks is very similar. We bring in Hand Disruption with Thought Seize and Brain Maggot, we also bring in Master of the Feast since they don't have a ton of removal and we take out our Hall of Triumph or Bile Blights and our Tormented Hero again because Tormented Hero I think is the weakest one drop and Hall of Triumph doesn't really allow you to attack into a Corsair of Crufix or Polucranos anyway. Our plan against the Blue Black Control decks is pretty simple. We take out our removal spells, Bile Blight and Hero's Downfall since they aren't doing anything anyways and bring in more hand disruption in Thoughtseize and Brain Maggot. Empty the Pits is also excellent against their removal heavy plan, and then Erebos, Whip of Erebos and Master of the Feast, because we don't have anything better to side in. Against the mono red aggro decks we like to bring in Farika's Cure and our fourth Bile Blight, as well as Whip of Erebos for life gain and Brain Maggot for pain free hand disruption. We take out our slow Heroes Downfalls and our Hall of Triumph, as well as Thought Seize because it deals us too much damage. You could also try to side in Master of the Feast, but you do have to be careful if the opponent is siding into Threaten effects that steal your creatures. And then last but not least, if you're playing the Mirror match, you can bring in Dark Betrayals, Farika's Cures and Whip of Erebos for removal and life gain. Same reason as against Abs and Agro, we bring out our Mogus's Marauder since Intimidate is not very good against black cards, and then Hero's Downfall is just a slow removal spell, and Bile Blight is awkward because it can also kill your own creatures. That's gonna do it for this deck tag. If you have any questions about sideboarding or anything else, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. But for now, I want to thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day.